Now let's be completely honest here. The words Roman Reigns, interview, and interesting typically do not go together in a sentence for most wrestling fans. Like even if you're a big Roman Reigns guy, Roman Reigns girl, just not the best on the stick. You know, like a lot of fans for years were very big on Randy Orton, even though he was so incredibly lacking as a talker, as an interview, as a promo guy. Similar deal with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns interview interesting typically do not go together. But Roman Reigns did recently do an interview with Chuck Carroll of CBS Sports where they did touch on something interesting. They did. Roman was asked the question if it's harder for a minority to climb the ladder in the business or if it's a pretty level playing field now. And I'm going to quote all of what Roman Reigns said, so that way I do not leave out any context or anything at all. I do not want to misrepresent anything he actually said. He said, and I quote, I think I'm a great example of that. I'm a multiracial man. I don't think it has anything to do with your color or your background. It's the man that you are and what you stand for, and obviously the performer that you are. That's one thing that Vince deeply wants to be embedded in his guys, in his superstars that they're good people. He says, I don't care if you're the greatest wrestler in the world. I don't care if you're the most charismatic talker in the world. But I do care if you're a good person. And I think that's what matters. When it comes down to it, it doesn't matter what you look like, how big you are, what color your skin is, or hair, or eyes. If you're a good person, you're a good person. First, I thought it was very interesting that Roman Reigns is calling out that he doesn't care if somebody's talking about Vince is the greatest wrestler or the most charismatic in the world. And you're like, well, that's what partially explains Roman Reigns' push. And then when I saw the part about Vince wanting something deeply embedded in his guys, moving on. It was interesting to hear Roman Reigns say this. And knowing the position that he's in, it's kind of a touchy subject and a tough talk for a guy like him. So you have to be very political. You have to be very measured in the things that you're saying, especially knowing that you're a top dude, going to continue to be a top dude for the company. Um, the way WWE operates, frankly, they don't want you going out there and bashing the brand. And that's just the way it is. A lot of companies don't, obviously. But to what Roman Reigns said, I throw the bullshit flag because seriously, Bullshit. Now, now, here's the deal. To be completely and totally fair to Roman Reigns, his experience as a minority, as a multiracial man, may very well not be the same as other minorities in WWE currently and in the past. So, before I just go and completely harpoon and lampoon everything that he just said there and call it a bunch of driveling BS and some Uncle Tom type of crap, it is important to understand that if it's not his reality, it's not his reality. And clearly for him, it is not his reality. And I think it's important to remember that. That he's not going to know because he just doesn't know. Because in the grand scheme of things, if we think about it over the years, Vince has traditionally, for the most part, treated his Samoan wrestlers pretty well. Sure, they've had some stereotypical Islander-type gimmicks over the years and so forth, but he's treated those guys well. He's taken care of those guys. They haven't always gotten main event title shots and such, but there have been guys that have. There have been guys that have gotten that chance, the Yokozunas, the Rocks, and now Roman Reigns, to name a few. So his reality, perhaps compared to those with other ethnic backgrounds, is entirely different. But I feel like fundamentally the question was kind of flawed here by Chuck Carroll to begin with. Is it harder for a minority to climb the ladder in the business or if it's a pretty level playing field? Because minority, just because Roman is a Samoan, he cannot speak for the experiences of all minorities, specifically in WWE. A minority in and of itself does not necessarily just have to mean skin color. Women are a minority in WWE, 
and clearly for years, whether you think they've deserved the push or the opportunities or not, you cannot deny that they were only given a small seat at the kids' table in the grand scheme of WWE. All those years of two-minute random-ass Divas matches on Raw and on the pay-per-views and so forth. The women in WWE were a minority, and they clearly weren't getting the same opportunities. They clearly weren't getting the same respect, the same push. Uh, they just weren't. Like, that can't be refuted. And if we get to the point where people are going to come at me with dumb SJW comments, then to which I have to answer or counter by asking, if we can't agree on the basic fundamental facts, then we never learn anything. And we just stubbornly dig in and get into a stupid space on this. Like saying that minorities have equal opportunities and that their skin color or how they look or how big they are doesn't matter. That's just shit. I'm sorry. Roman Reigns on this one is full of it. Again, not necessarily his experience, but he's Samoan. So compared to some of the other groups and their experiences in WWE, frankly, what the hell would he know? Make Roman Reigns black. Tell me he gets the same opportunities. I dare you. Tell me he gets the same chances. I dare you. Because even in the grand scheme of things, when I think of somebody like the New Day, they intentionally keep them together as a group because they want to keep them together as a group because if Vince doesn't see any of them as world championship material, he's not going to make it that way. And more often than not, throughout his history, he doesn't see black men as worthy of his world title. But you can say that for years with uh, Asian wrestlers, specifically Japanese wrestlers. Sure, Shinsuke won the Royal Rumble, but... You still always wonder just how much Vince truly believes in him, but you've seen a lot of Asian wrestlers come into WWE to great fanfare, and they crapped out. The most successful Asian wrestler the WWE ever had was Yokozuna, and he was a Japanese. He just portrayed a Japanese character. He was part of that great Samoa family lineage. Again, because he was Samoan, he got the opportunity because Vince loves the Samoans. Now, you will also have instances... See Jinder Mahal, see Great Khali, see Alberto Del Rio, where there are some guys that the talent does not necessitate or justify them getting a world title or getting a significant main event push, and they do because of their race from a business standpoint. To flat out say WWE is completely and totally racist in every capacity is is a flawed way of thinking, and it just doesn't match the reality. Because sometimes they will make guys a champion because of their race, and it's not just the white guys. Do you really think gender, other than maybe finding some talent at the end of a steroid needle, or a HGH version of the cream and the clear, baby, why did he get the belt? Because they are trying to appeal to India. So he got the belt in large part because of his race, where he was from, as did Great Khali, as did Alberto Del Rio. They're saying, hey, we need a new Hispanic, Latin, Mexican star to replace the Eddie Guerrero's and then the Rey Mysterio's. Here's Alberto Del Rio. We're going to force him, even if he doesn't deserve that spot, because of who he is, because of his background. So guys like that, they get the opportunity, not in spite of their skin color, in their background, their ethnicity, but because of it. But for Reigns to sit there and talk about that it doesn't matter how big you are, what color your skin is, or your hair, or your eyes, isn't this the same Roman that was wearing contact, different color contacts for a while? Just saying. But for years in WWE, size did matter. It doesn't as much anymore. But I promise you, it still deep down does matter to Vince. It's why they've taken such a keen interest in Braun Strowman because Braun Strowman reminds Vince of the good old days. If Braun Strowman was 225 pounds and an exceptional athlete, he might get a push, but he wouldn't get the same level of push. And we all know that's true. He, this big roided up Uncle Udo looking Care Bear version gets a push and goes, Braun! Because he's... Fucking monstrous. He's six foot something, 360 whatever the hell pounds. He's a big, massive power lifter. That's why he gets a push. 
I mean, it's just the way it is to sit there and say that the skin color doesn't matter or how big you are. Um, if you're a good person, you're a good person. Maybe that's part of the problem too. Is is it really just about them being a good person? Like having good character? Or being a good character in wrestling? Is that what matters more? And maybe you want a guy that's a good character that you at least rely upon somewhat. I don't know. Uh, it's disappointing when I see somebody like Roman Reigns, who automatically, because of the fact he is Samoan, because he is, as he put it, a multiracial man, a lot of people are going to point to that and say, See, WWE isn't racist, I told you. I can now continue to justify why I watch it. If he says it, he would know. Well, in the grand scheme of things, no, the fuck he doesn't. He just doesn't. Because how the hell could he? And again, it's not his fault. But his reality is departed from the realities of others. And I come back to the New Day as an example. You look at Biggie, you look at Kofi, you look at Xavier Woods. And you compare them to other guys that are white, that are maybe similar, or in some cases not even as good, that have gotten major pushes, have gotten bigger singles pushes, have gotten world title opportunities, have won Royal Rumbles, main event of WrestleManias and such. And you say, what is so different between New Day and a lot of these other guys? I wonder. I wonder. So how the hell would Roman Reigns know? When he's Samoan and Vince likes Samoans and has pushed Samoans for years, how the hell would he know if the opportunities are the same for everybody else? Because hell, if we want to throw in the white guy again, again, just to not even make it a racial component, Vince naturally discriminates on a variety of different levels. And a lot of times it's just, if he doesn't see it in you, he just doesn't see it in you. This was a whole back and forth between me and Cody Rhodes was him changing his story, in my opinion, and saying that WWE doesn't sabotage people or hold people back. Yet at the same point in time, he's talking about how Vince didn't see world champ in him. Well, ding dong, dumb dick. If you're saying he doesn't see it in you, then that means no matter what you do, he's never going to give you the opportunity. So he's never going to get you to a certain point where you could be viewed in that light. So yes, he is sabotaging you directly, indirectly, whatever the case might be. Vince discriminates all the time. Discrimination does not necessarily have to be about race. It could be about gender. It could be about national origin. It could be about... Uh, language you speak. It could be about sexual preference. It could be about any number of things. They could discriminate just because of the fact they look at a guy like Rusev and he got a reaction for something they weren't initially behind that Vince and his crew didn't necessarily come up with. So because they don't like the fact that he got massively over with Rusev Day, they will discriminate against him by not putting him on TV. That's the ultimate form of discrimination is they didn't even put him on SmackDown the past couple of weeks. So, on the one hand, it's complete and total crap to say that it's a level playing field now. Because as long as Vince is in charge, it will never be a level playing field. And that's not just because of race. That is because of size. That is because of gender. That is because of getting over in a way that Vince doesn't want you to. There are a variety of different ways that Vince discriminates. So for Roman to say it, while again, I point out it's not his reality, it's just complete and total disingenuous bullshit. Because the WWE has a long, proud history of discriminating against talent for a variety of different reasons. And I come back to this for Roman. If you were black, I promise you, I guarantee you, you would not get the same opportunities. There is no way. And the Schleich Daddy means no way! You would be in the same spot with the same damn force. There is just no way in hell! Because it, back to The Rock, even when The Rock was the big guy in, on campus, they made sure to emphasize the Samoan part. They wouldn't mention the Rocky Soul Man Johnson part of the lineage, and that's just the way it was. And you look at Booker T and Mark Henry... They still got the secondary belt, the World Heavyweight Championship, and you could argue in both cases that they got it several years too damn late. And how many black champions have you seen since then? Bullshit my ass. It's still not a level playing field, and as long as Vince is alive, it never will be. And it's not just about race. Because for a variety of reasons and a variety of different factors, 
If fair was fair, Cesaro would be a multiple-time world champion because what's so different between him and so many other people? The difference is Vince doesn't see it in him, so it doesn't happen, period. What a dumbass statement, and it's easy for somebody like Roman to sit there and say that crap. And it's frustrating because, again, a lot of fans are going to take him at his word. Just because he's Samoan, just because of the duh, just because of the duh, he automatically knows. Bullshit. And this proves it yet again.